What's going on everybody? In this week's episode, I'm building uh, Lego robotics competition tables. Um, I'm following the guidelines, but I am also modifying it so it can be in three pieces. So somebody with a minivan or SUV or a smaller pickup truck can put it in their truck, car, and uh, bring it to competition. Based on my limited research I did on YouTube and the internet, I determined that the thickest plywood possible would be the best option, um, which is 23 and 32 seconds, which equates to a three quarter inch board. Um, that way I can use a three eighths furniture dowel to kind of tie them together so they're as flush as possible um, so it doesn't affect the, the, the use of the table. Um, and then I also have these draw tight catches that I will be mounting on the sides to actually clamp it together, pull it together. It's gonna sit on saw horses, so Whoever is using it just is going to need a, a few saw horses to support it so it's not wobbly or anything. Pretty darn good. First coat of paint. Uh, each side is gonna get two. Uh, I'm just using a flat black. All right. Dimensions wise, it is still the 96 inches long. Uh, it's just cut into three sections for maneuverability. Uh, they're 32 inches long. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe So, what I am doing now is I am marking the, this is the back side of the board I'm going around and marking three quarters of an inch in um, so I can have all my screws lined up right in the center of all the boards for the border uh, and all I'm gonna do is pre-drill these with a recess bit uh, so I have a nice flush back for the screws uh, however I'm gonna have window hinges on here so the flushness isn't a huge thing, but if somebody runs their hand across the, the bottom, they're not gonna catch themselves on a screw. We're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it, and I know of sadness, the anxious and panic, the infinite vastness of all that is blackness.
really tight. I have that other latch attached, so I don't have to worry about it separating where those latches come in really handy. Set that up. It's actually quite easy to attach it. As you're putting it together, you can attach one side, latch it, and then you can pull the other side together and latch it and make it, makes it so much easier. And then just under here, let's see, just twist that. I'm not sure how much this is actually going to do, uh, other than just kind of give it a little bit of, just a little bit of support between the two seams. Um, this setup is gonna, it will require using six saw horses. Um, that way, all, the both, both of the seams are supported properly um, and you have a support saw horse on the end without anything sticking out um, as you're trying to build in, into your Lego robotics. Would I recommend this build? Uh, yeah, it's not a bad build. Uh, I have to make a second one. I'm not making a video on that one, but I have to make a second one. So I have most of the pieces cut. I just have to cut the plywood and um, put the pegs in. With it being in three sections, it makes it pretty easy to move around, portable, you still have plenty of space. It's still the same size. It's the correct size uh, for the competition table, but it just makes it easier for anybody else to move it. <clears throat> These latches work perfectly to help keep the table secure. I mean, it's not, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Uh, it's not gonna come apart. I have the little, the little screen door catches I'm not sure how much they're actually going to do to support it, um, but I do have the uh, furniture pegs, dowels. Uh, I would not go any less than three. You could probably put more just to add a little bit extra support and security, um, but you have to be very precise with the holes. Um, some of mine are kind of off at a little angle. Luckily, it didn't affect it too much, um, but I would recommend this design. It seems pretty well. I don't know how it's going to do when other people try and set it up, but it is simple, which is nice. Uh, I did try window latches for the bottom. At least the ones I got didn't do anything, probably because I bought the cheap ones. Um, if I had bought more expensive ones that actually latch together, maybe that would make a difference. But the cheap $3 ones from, I don't want to say where, um, but they don't, they don't work. If you found this build helpful or inspired you to make your own Lego competition table, let me know if you find something else that would be better for the underside. Um, I can possibly incorporate it in the second one that I have to build, but um, for the time being. And that's going to wrap up this project. My name's Josh. This is Life of Camp Ranger. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.